Okay, guys. A few days before Pontiac show that we're going to, and the rope is still in pieces. Um, I didn't post it. I did get a new cell phone, so that's good. But I went and bought three cast iron Briggs Sunday. Get the sandpaper off right there. And got a carburetor that I needed for this. Um, picked up a fuel pump. And I still got the coil on order. It should be in tomorrow. And I went ahead and ordered a new starter. Because the upper bushing is messed up. Uh, so those two items will be in tomorrow. And we'll put those on tomorrow. Along with the choke cable. Uh, today, I'm trying to put some of the front end together. And we'll go from there. Uh, I'm going to work on the rototiller a little bit tonight. Uh, i got to figure out which gas tank I want to use. Probably... Uh, a red one that I got with one of the cast irons. And it will end up on this uh, 8 horse. Um, this gas tank has is full of rust. I mean, yeah, it can be cleaned. I cleaned it the best I could before, but still. Uh, these are the wheels I'm going to use for it. i got to take them with to Terrell's tomorrow and find some wheel bolts. So... There's the nose cone. I'm in the process of bolting it to the hood. This area is supposed to be black. And yes, I know, the paint job is not the best. The object is to get it ready for a show. It's a worker. So, it's not going to be perfect. But maybe after the show, the next two shows actually, I should say, we'll tear it back down and... Uh, get it properly done but this is just a quick uh job just to get it done and over with there's everybody's favorite cat i mean it's not bad bad looking Here's the PTO cover, part of the uh, lower grill. You would take this off to run the snow blower. They're always missing. Here's the lower grill. I was having some issues over on this side where it was fading out the paint. So I think I got that covered. And, of course, stuff clings to fresh paint. There's the door on the front. It's still not flat. I'll look for a different one. And here are the other, uh, the lower grill screens. The other one is over on the other uh, swing set frame. So... That's all pretty much for right now. Later tonight, once I get some more of the stuff on, we'll do a little update. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And, well shoot, I shouldn't have said that. Okay guys, so. I got my new phone. I'm back on track for making videos. Um, so, this is a new camera, new phone, it's okay. Um, the other day, I went and picked up some more cast irons. I got this carburetor that's on it now. Uh, it's got the correct side on the choke linkage. I'll be taking this spring off. 
because that's not supposed to be there. Uh, it still runs. I also got rid of the um, K-Series condenser because it still wasn't tight. It wasn't getting a good ground at times. Uh, so, it's got a Briggs one back on. A used one for temporary. I do have a brand new one. Because my parts came today. It's a Stins. Probably out of the same factory that the uh, Briggs one to do. And then, I already opened it up to look at it. I've got a brand new coil magneto in there. Then, I splurged. A brand new starter. And, yeah. There's some weird marks here, but what do you expect? It's a Mega Fire. It was ordered through Stens. Uh, so, whether it lasts is another story. I mean, it is a little tight, so I'll have to check it and figure it out. I imagine it'll probably loosen up. Once it gets spinning a few times. So. Alright guys. I'm in the process of taking this thing back apart. So I can put it in. Or put stuff on. Um, today is Thursday night. So I have. Tonight and tomorrow night. To get this thing going. For Pontiac. So. Without further ado. Let me get my butt into gear and get this thing back apart. So, I noticed I had a little... It wasn't very bad. It was just a little small leak on the tank somewhere. I can't even find it. But looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's along the seam. So, what I do is, as you can see, it's clear. I use this. You get it at hardware store, auto parts store. Sometimes you can find it at Dollar General. Really good. In fact, I had a leak on the SS12 a few weeks ago. And that tank had a pinhole right in this area. And... It's holding, I put it on the other day, and it's still holding good, and I've used it in the past. No problems. So, if you need to repair a small leak, that's a good thing to do. Beware with some aftermarket uh, parts. This was a Stens coil. Both eyelets were the wrong size. And I looked it up for this type of engine. It wasn't this exact model type and code, but a coil should work where a coil works. Because, um, I'd been going off of a parts manual on a well-known Sears site for years. Never had this issue. But... This Stens coil has wrong size eyelets on it. So keep that in mind. Okay guys, it's just about to the tricky part. And this is the part I hated doing on the 15. Because just like the 15, there's hardly no room. You're going to ask, what's that? The choke. You gotta get it in back in there. Get it into that little hook on the thing. That's the part I hated the most on the 15. So back to my old nemesis. So, we got the lower grill on. Don't look too bad. There's a couple spots that could have been better. But hey, like I said... It's a worker more than a showpiece. 
So, you know, I like taking the, these tractors to show, but you know what? They don't have to be pretty. They don't have to look amazing. I'm already going to be confusing the heck out of people because, look, gas tank there, gas tank under the seat. You know, it is what it is. So, I haven't gotten the side panel on yet. That's going to be last. I got to also make sure the choke cable isn't going to be up against anything. So, because you could actually fry something really easy if you're not careful with one of these. Alright guys, let me get back to work and... We will see how it turns out in a bit. Alright guys, it's Friday, the night before Pontiac. And, as you can see, I'm working on the rototiller. I gotta get the wheels on it. I was gonna use other wheels, but they're bad. Uh, I just heard something sound like a branch crack, but it was a squirrel jumping on a branch. Uh, I gotta change the gas tank, but... Yeah, the, uh, roper. Don't look bad at all. So, that is regal red, the color I paint the wheel horse is that red. That's very close to Roper Red. And the tractor's faded. So let me come over here and show you. There's everybody's favorite cat lounging around. See, this is Regal Red on that shoot and there's the actual rope or red so that's not far off why have you over here this is one of the engines i bought and those are the other two i have to put them away but they're here for now this is a 1990 16 horse it's going to be strictly starter generator unless I can find the 82 on a uh, flywheel for gear start. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the, uh, the holes in the block are there for the uh, mag. Or not mag, but the stator. But uh, if not, it will be starter generator. I don't mind starter generator. This will be a backup engine for the roper. And... That shroud is good. It can mount the starter generator uh, cover. So, that'll be good unless I find another Briggs powered Sears or Roper. And there's a 16 with no dipstick. I can't use it on a uh, one of the tractors. So... That red one has a new coil on it, but somebody fried the coil. Remember that post that Terrell put on Facebook, or Terrell's page, had about the coil being exploded. That's what happens when you put 12 volts, and that's what somebody did to that one, too. So, yep. So, let me get back to work. And we will uh, see it more towards the end. There's the 74. So, guys, gas tanks changed, fuel lines changed, rear tires are on. They match the tiller. I ain't worried about that. So, I. When I pulled off the old tank, took the. Uh, brand new sediment bowl that I put on uh, off 
the inlet was all plugged. So that could be the reason why it wouldn't run with the crap anymore. Because the tank had so much rust in it. I managed to save some of the gas. So let's do what it does best. Okay, open it up a little bit. Um, give it some throttle. Maybe some more throttle and come on. Runs a lot better. So I just broke the throttle. I'll have to fix that really quick. So I fixed the throttle. Uh, I'm eventually going to probably find me another throttle assembly for this, but for the time being, it's fine. Uh, trying to think of anything left to do the only thing that would be left to do really is to get the correct lift links on it but i don't really plan on using it down there so i ain't gonna worry about them uh yeah i'm gonna look see if i can find a parts tiller down there you never know uh also need the side panel for the mtd uh, I doubt it will be there, but if I find the, uh, correct nose cone for this, with the stripes and everything, it'll come home with me. I'm not worried about that. But, alright guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll be getting some more projects done sooner or later. Uh, I need to clean up some stuff and then, uh, also, uh, get, uh, the trailer done, because, uh, we got a new trailer, because, uh, the old one is broke. Well, it's not broke, broke, it's wore out. Uh, because I can only put one tractor on the trailer pretty much. Maybe two. I can't really exceed like 1,000 pounds. So, alright guys, thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.